White House Correspondents' Dinner, the occasion was full of celebrities as Biden says and I quote working like hell to free imprisoned journalists. Brittany Griner, who was incarcerated in Russia on drugs charges, was present at the ball, while President Biden met Evan Gershkovich's mom and dad, the Wall Street Journal journalist imprisoned in Moscow and alleged of espionage. Joe Biden told the press at the extravagant celebration that he is working like hell to free their co-workers who are being detained abroad. It came as superstars such as Julia Fox and John Legend congregated at the yearly White House Correspondents Association dinner, often seen as an opportunity for policymakers, government officials, and comedians to exchange jokes on a civil level. Biden, who broadcasted lately he wants T.O. go for the second term as the commander-in-chief, spoke to the father and mother of Evan Gershkovich at the occasion, the Wall Street Journal correspondent who has been confined in Russia on spying charges, which he rejects. Several people present wore free Evan tops. Also in the audience was Deborah Tice, whose son Austin disappeared in 2012 after vanishing from a checkpoint in Syria while on an assignment for the Washington Post and CBS. The authorities have formally said it figures out that Mr. Tice is still alive, kicking and is working round the clock to transport him home. I quote they are among hundreds of journalists around the world who are wrongfully detained for the simple act of doing journalism, which is not a crime, said Tamara Keith a White House correspondent for National Public Radio and the association's president. Brittany Griner was also summoned to the occasion, after she was newly freed from Russia custody over a drugs charge. The basketball player was sent back to the U.S. as part of a convict exchange and went to the White House dinner with her wife Sherelle, as guests of CBS News. President Biden was given the opportunity to express himself at the event, exploiting it to focus on the U.S. news broadcasting, mainly Fox News. I quote lies told for profit and power. Lies of conspiracy and malice repeated over and over again designed to generate a cycle of anger and hate and even violence, Joe Biden said. That succession, Mr. Biden reiterated, has led some to prohibit books, and the rule of law and our rights and freedoms to be stripped away. Zeroing in on what he described as an extreme press. Mr. Biden at the same time teased with jokes that if he called Fox News I quote honest, fair and truthful then I can be sued for defamation. He was suggesting and indicating that the $787.5 million defrayal made among the network and Dominion voting systems. Mr. Biden also mocked about his Trump, playfully he uttered Donald had been offered $10 to keep his speech short and I quote. That's a switch of president being offered hush money, Mr. Biden added. Additional celebs who appeared was Oscar-winning actor Kuhui Kwan, former Olympian-turned-politician Caitlyn Jenner, and Harry Potter star Jason Isaacs. Arnold Schwarzenegger began the get-together with a recorded video about liberty of speech, before the headliner Roy Wood Jr. delivered his routine. To be precise, he took aim at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is broadly anticipated to publicize a run for the presidency, touching on his pending dispute with Disney, his book bans, and White House ambitions. ...to get him, find him, bring him home. Tonight... Our message is this. Journalism is not a crime. Evan and Austin should be released immediately, along with every other American held hostage or wrongfully detained abroad. Paul Whelan, unjustly held in Russia for more than four years, whose brave sister I've met with and whose family has never quit fighting for Paul, and I promise you, neither will I and neither will this administration until we get him home. And there are other Americans being unjustly held in Iran, Venezuela, China, and elsewhere. Their stories may not make headlines or hashtags, but every day, every day, their family looks at that empty chair at the kitchen table. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays without them, the pain of living in limbo, in a sense, is almost worse than the pain of having lost a child and looking at an empty chair. The stress of not knowing, the sorrow of uncertainty. But I want them and their families to know, Jill and I understand, we see them. They are not forgotten. And I promise you, I am working like hell to get them home.